Hey everybody, it's Troy. Let me show you how to insert and customize an existing intro or lower third as they're sometimes called. First tip is oftentimes where we've got a timeline, it's full of stuff. Uh, what we're gonna do first is you're gonna hold down the shift key and then click on the playhead over here. And I'm going to hit uh, click shift and drag and that's going to move everything down to the timeline so it's easier for me to let's say put in an intro in 2023 uh, the library is found under media over here and you go to the library and from here I'm going to bring down a lower third so I'll use that uh, simply as a title right now if I wanted to I could put that, uh, I can just move that right up into the middle if that's what I want to. Or if what I was going to do is put it on top of the video, uh, I could place it wherever I like. Uh, but the key here is let's make a couple of adjustments to this. Uh, the first adjustment that we might want to make with it here on the timeline is the color. Uh, so colors are relatively easily done over in the properties window over here. You can go and uh, choose your theme. That's generally what I would do if you have themes or if you haven't done them yet, please uh, create one. It'll save you a lot of time. Uh, it allows us to go through and say, okay, well, I don't know, let's try the Camtasia colors. And uh, you can make adjustments to it that way. Or if you wanted, let's say the uh, Snagit colors, uh, it will modify it accordingly as well. Uh, so uh, my uh, scenario here is this uh, calculator application which has has some orange in it and we've done it there. If I want to modify my text, I can make those modifications as well. Okay, so that's the simple stuff. Let's get into a little bit more complicated stuff. Uh, first of all, let's say that you wanted this uh, to last longer on the screen. And uh, so one of the options is you can drag it, but they don't necessarily always, you can tell like just by doing that, that really didn't do everything we wanted it to. So let's go and click on that plus sign. That plus sign is really important for us here. I'm going to zoom in on my timeline so I can see things. I'm also going to grow my track so I can see what I'm working with here. Uh, thankfully, they've done a good job of labeling this. Not all of them are as well labeled, but we've got some top text up here, some bottom text here. We've got some bottom shapes and some top shapes. And uh, what we wanted to do is we wanted it to last, all of it to kind of last as long as that text is there cool so um, what we'll do with the bottom shape we'll take that one first we're going to drag that one out and let's see if that did anything no it didn't so we're going to go into the bottom shapes and you can see on here that we've got these animations and you can also see if i zoom in a little bit longer or a little bit more uh, that uh, they're of a different uh, duration so what I would do is I'd move my playhead down here and I will just push them all individually down here. There we go. And it's going to go at the right time. I can do that same thing now for the top shape as well. I'll do that relatively quickly and I'll move animation after animation. Obviously I can push it to go all the way to the very end if I want to. Um, I'm not gonna be uh, super careful right now for uh, speed. Okay, so we've got that, but let's say uh, finally that we want this animation to be slightly different. Uh, we want the animation in here, including this bottom text, which I really do want to make it a little bit stronger so everybody can see it. We want this bottom animation to go from right to left. So we want uh, that orange box not to slide to the right. We want the orange box to slide to the left. So I'm gonna go to the bottom uh, shape down here and uh, you can tell that I've got those animations. If I turn off one shape at a time, you can sort of see how it goes and it slides that way. Um, one option here is simply by uh, holding, excuse me, by selecting that. Um, I can hold down the shift key and the, and the left arrow and it moves 10 pixels at a time as it drags all of those animations over to about there. 
and I can do the same thing with each of these. I'll do them now and I'll just speed them up for you so you don't have to watch me go through these one by one by one. All right, so we've got that done. It now is going to look a little bit like this, and then it's going to slide that way. Ooh, so we're close, right? But that text on the right is, uh, the text on the bottom is still on the right, so we're gonna make a slight modification to that one. We'll take that bottom text, and this is the icon of a behavior. A behavior is like a pre-packed, an a pre-packaged animation, um, and it uh, has an intro, or excuse me, it has an animation at the beginning, an animation during, and an animation at the end. On the animation at the end, it is going from left to right, and we are just going to tell it to go right to left. Thank you very much. So it's going to go whoop, just like that. Now, if you need to time it differently, because you can tell like the color is going um, away faster than the text is, we'll simply bring this text call out um, back in about like there. And there we go. Cool. Now, uh, we've gotten it uh, about where we want it. If I was doing this for myself, I would do a couple of things. Um, one is, uh, just for my uh, simplicity, I'd move them up. And I'm going to take my top shape and put that above my bottom shape because mentally I like top to bottom, that's all. Uh, so I've, I've made those changes. I'm going to select them. I'll bring them back down. And I can close that group. Last thing I would do is I would right click on this and I would rename this group because this is mine now. This is like something that I created, I customized, and I'm gonna call this one Troy's Lower Third of Wonders. Uh, third. And I'm now going to right click on that and I'm going to add that to my library. So I've created various and sundry libraries here and some some of my share with others and I will hit add and now that is part and partial of what I want to have as part of my videos and so if I delete this and I bring this new one down Troy's lower third of wonders it's now the duration that I want and it's got the fonts the way I want them and it animates the way that I need it to anyways hope this helps folks thanks for watching